Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We have episode 4 of my Turkish series here today. We're going to be declaring war upon Bulgaria and potentially we could have some other enemies joining on in because they're guaranteed by a couple nations. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. The Battle of the Balkans is about to begin and they were called in so it looks like we're going to war with Israel and Turkey as well jeez that is uh, kind of a crazy conflict three nations against two with our Lebanon allies as Turkey is back again looking to liberate the Balkans the old Ottoman occupied territory but so far initially the first conflict in Bulgaria is very much going in favor of the Turks. So, we're still continuing down that path. Economy-wise, could be better. We have just under a million, and they've capitulated. Oh, shit. And we've got more MiG fighters as well. Well, let's straight up take the territory. We're not going to pop it. We want that all under our control. And then we can look to go into the rest of the Balkans westward. All right, so... Let's move everyone back south. Let's reallocate my air force to Syria. And we'll get them to operate and do some drills over the top of the Levant. Now, we do have one stack pushing against them. Oh, and we've actually taken a piece of territory as well. Nice. We also might need to set up some naval invasions. Potentially into Israel or Egypt. But we'll just have to see how we go. But we've saved up a bunch of fuel. We've got our air force. Our economy could be better. We did have to lend a hundred billion because we are hemorrhaging a little bit of cash at the moment because the economy is just so flippant. And we've had a bunch of earthquakes as well. Every single week, year, there's been a severe one. So let's get a couple of units to act as naval invasions. So two's enough. A special forces unit accompanied by a tank division. They've got the sneaky and subdiffuse of sort of a and flexibility of a tactical special forces unit. Then the brute force of a tank dropping on the beach. Okay, so oh, we can probably reallocate them. Oh, that's a little bit cheeky because technically we have air supremacy over our airfields and bases in Syria. However, in the Levant, we don't. So we'll quickly move that. Nice, that should help things out. However, we are going to be coming up firmly against their Iron Dome. So that's something we have to watch out for. So let's set up a naval invasion. So some of the territory hasn't been called in. Namely the Palestinian one. So we can't land there in Gaza. So we're going to have to mostly land in northern Egypt and we'll try and get our navy to run some convoy escorts because I don't think pushing any more units to that narrow one tile strip there just south of Damascus is the play unfortunately we've, oh, we've been engaged by one but we have managed to secure the port of sad okay so let's try and draw some front lines and we'll try and head this one to their capital so once you land just rapidly go 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 Oh god, we got some naval engagements. They took out a Turkish convoy. Oh jeez! We managed to shoot down a hundred Egyptian fighter jets. Oh wow. But they did take out some of our submarines and frigates, our ships, which is annoying. Okay. So, we've landed in the heart of the night. Oh my god, we're really bringing down a lot of their planes. Oh my god, my navy's getting an absolute battering though. Once 
We've landed. We kind of don't need them there. And we are chugging away at our fuel. We have zero fuel at the moment. Shit. Let's stop importing these. Because we need the spare military factories. We're going to have to get a bunch of oil from the Saudis, I think. Maybe even the Ruskies as well. Yeah. They might cancel the lend lease. If we don't have the spare civilian factories, but that's okay. And let's just quickly have a break with our air force just running their drills because we just need our fuel to bounce back up dude air supremacy air support and managing your fuel consumption is basically make or break for this game so we'll make sure we prioritize the refueling zones on our army rather than the air force but we just need to essentially pivot in between. Because now we're out again. Jeez. Because it uh, it's such a fine line. Because we need to fuel our tanks and motorized infantry. But we need the Air Force to help us out as well. Oh, nice. We've joined the EU, which is perfect. Because we've currently left NATO. We can go back, sort of, to the Western sphere of influence once we've rebuilt the Ottoman Empire. Nice. We've got a bit of a nice staging ground here. And we've divided the country into a nice chunk. Like, whatever that sort of peninsula is in Egypt. I can't remember what it's called. Like, this territory here. So, we'll send a front line up here and we'll try and rally up. Nice. But this is kind of crazy. The Bulgarian incursion was so much quicker and easier than this Egypt and Israeli alliance. A little bit ironic. A little bit weird that they popped at them, but I guess they saw the power shift occurring in and around northern Anatolia. They were eventually going to be on the list, but I was actually going to prioritize taking... Balkan territory more than anything. But getting Egypt firmly under our control will be a nearly a really nice addition to what was the Ottoman Empire. Because it's interesting, because like the Ottoman Empire at its height, that's what we want to try and annex and take and paint the map ourselves. But also they did have a lot of puppets, vassals, subjugation subjects as well. Directly influenced by them. Like, I think most of North Africa was either a vassal state or paid some sort of homage to the Ottomans. I don't know if we're going to go that far <laughs> into Tunisia, essentially. Okay, we've lost 45k, which is a bit... Oh, jeez. That's because we're just really trying to push past, especially with our fuel now. We've managed to save up 700 K worth of fuel. I guess barrels, I don't know. And we can get the Air Force running again, which is probably what we're going to need. Dude. That will give us a couple days, weeks, and months to help things out. That actually could change the tide to get us into a better position. We've managed to secure Cairo and a large chunk of Egypt. We've got the Suez as well, so we dominate trade through there and now with instantly look at this we've got air supremacy over the top we are really chipping away at the egyptian forces there dude we are super pushing them back nice we're pushing them back into the desert from whence they came we've got air supremacy over the top perfect we are struggling to push into israel though i imagine because they're probably fortified a lot of it and it's quite narrow street and hectic fighting if it was to actually occur Nice. Hey, Egypt is capitulated. Perfect. Dude. This is a crazy war. We're going to annex everything with the Treaty of Alexandria. And we'll reallocate every single available Turkish force to get back on the border here. And now we should be out of a nice cohesive push from multiple vectors of attack into Jerusalem. And also we probably should be able to... 
not overly rely on the Air Force with a little bit. Oh, Georgia joined CSTO. Interesting. That's a massive um, change of events because we have guaranteed them. So if CSTO ever gets attacked, particularly Georgia, that's something we have to keep an eye on. Still mostly all in our favor if we were to attack. So I think we initiated. There we go. Accidentally misclicked there, but now I've fixed it. Right. Uh, let's go with that. I wish you could queue up the research a bit, because it's always a little bit jarring going back and forth, trying to micro and focus on a war, taking tiles here and there, and then boop. Yeah. Research needs to be complete. I wish you could nearly chain it, be like, I want to go down this is this, and when it's complete, you go this is this. You could like allocate it. That'd be cool. Okay, so. Still about 10% of our fuel left. We need air supremacy to push in and help out. We maybe could get the Navy to help on out, but they don't have any coastal territory. I wouldn't imagine they have much of a large Navy. Anyway, let's try and end our economic woes here. We're about to surround a bunch of them before we can push towards the capital. Nice. And we'll try and push to uh, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, I guess. And make sure you move from the north as well. Dude, how are they not capitulated? Like, half their country has fallen. They are still holding on so resiliently. Now, January of 2006. And we're still continuing to get more land lease as well. Balloon to 45k, ours is about 50k, which isn't crazy because we've got a million manpower. That's really all you need. Alright, just uh, changing. So, oh, they capitulated finally. Dude, that took way too fucking long. Yeah, I was just sort of uh, changing the um, public order management. Nice. Israel has capitulated. Dude, they were just holding me for so long there. Oh my god, Mexico has joined the United States? What the fuck does that mean? The Mexican States of America? <laughs> what in the fuck? Hang on. But anyway, here's all the territory we control. As Turkey, the Ottoman Empire is taking a very familiar shape. Oh, they've gone with the Monroe Doctrine. Like, literally incorporating it with an alliance. Oh, no. Has NATO been dissolved? Oh, shit. I wonder if that's my doing. Because I kind of... Didn't let them take Iraq. No, so NATO's a thing still. So if we were to attack Greece, it would still bring in NATO. Damn, that sucks. Italy split again. They quite tend to divide between North and South, which is hilarious. All right. Oh, they joined CSTO. Seriously? Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah. I want to go after Greece, but I don't know if we're going to be able to this series for quite some time. We can stop importing all that Saudi fuel because we're not actively at war. We can go back to importing these resources that we're low in. Dude, we do not have a very high access to resources in and around this territory. Like, yeah, we've got a bunch of fuel and some valuable metals here and there, but others we are really quite short on. Uh, we also need to repair a bunch of this territory that we took. But now that we've got a lot more territory under our control, nearly 50 factories, we might look to actually construct some proper military as well. Civilian fuel and then we'll make plans and preparations actually no we don't want to build that in Lebanon because we're not going to be able to control it so let's get a bunch of military factories in because now we're at a stage where we definitely need some because it is lacking quite a bit nice well maybe we're better off to go after Iraq or Jordan so we've got Yugoslavia, 
North Macedonia, Bosnia. There's a bunch of countries up here, even Romania, to be fair, that we all want to try and go into. So let's start a justification for Yugoslavia, and I think we'll do one down here, Iraq as well. I think we'll push from two points to attack. I do want to try and prioritize Balkan territory, because at this time period now, it's definitely the more lucrative and more valuable. So let's send two army groups up. And then, once we take Yugoslavia, we shall try and retake all of Iraq. Because it doesn't seem like the US want to take it. They've actually withdrawn to their alliance. Dude, our debt has really risen a bit. Oh, actually, we're going to be able to get some forces from Lebanon, which we can request. Nice. Mostly with Kalashnikovs. French, an French anti-tank. Interesting. So we'll try and bring them on in to help out. Nice, we definitely need them. But uh, things are looking good for the Ottomans. It's taken a little bit. Nice, the justification for Yugoslavia is complete. And we can march on in. It's taken a little while before we could actively start conquering countries. Six years or so. But now, we are rebuilding, reforming, reconstructing, reinvigorating the uh, Ottoman Empire, I suppose. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, push into Yugoslavia. We'll call in Lebanon for the shits and gigs. And I'm curious to see how much resistance they're going to put on up as we push into the Western Balkans. Our air force is operating over the top efficiently, so the quicker we can bring these factions directly under our control, the better, because then they won't be into NATO or CSTO's sphere of influence. We want to try and get as much of the former Ottoman territory under our control as we can. But so far, we're making some really nice progression. Thankfully, this war probably isn't going to go for too long as we've divided the country in two. As we push to, for Belograd. The south is secure. And we still haven't run out of fuel. So we didn't need to import any. 27k losses. The Turkish militia is now firmly battle hardened. And we've got a bunch of MiGs back again. Nice. So we can continue to take more states in the Balkans. Perfect. My god. We're bordering up near Hungary. Which is kind of crazy. And... Another couple thousand equipment as well. Perfect. Now we've got the ball firmly rolling. Yeah. A little bit of advice. It does take you a little while to build up and uh, sort of convert to nationalism if you're playing as Turkey, particularly on the, um, the sub mod. There are some benefits you get. Some really cool role playing aspects, but it is a lot harder. They really do role play with the economical struggles with Turkey, particularly in the 2000s. It's taken us to 2006 to sort of pull away from our poor economic woes. Okay, so that's going to be complete soon. So let's quickly move down. Hang on. That shouldn't be there. Alright, let's make this a bit better. There we go. And we'll move down to finally incorporate the entirety of uh, Iraq under our control. Dude, our de but debt has ballooned to 400 billion. Shit. <laughs> it was so good for quite some time. But now it's gone to absolute shit again. And we'll move the Air Force down here as well. Dude, what a hell of an episode. Territorial-wise in gain, this is definitely the most uh, amount of square kilometers we've conquered. But yeah, would you believe it? The States has withdrawn to going with the Monroe Alliance, which uh, I believe is only a North and South American alliance. Like, only member states 
in those regions can join, a matter of fact. Same with CSTO, like only former Soviet nations can um, join. We're building more office sectors where we can because of our debt problem, like I mentioned. I've decided to move the uh, military factory cons um, construction down a bit. And I guess we go with peace propaganda because we're going to get to a point where we want to reopen the uh, elections again to then try and move back into NATO. But, unfortunately, on that note, guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to leave it on a cliffhanger for the second invasion of Iraq. We've done a bunch here today. We've taken Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, Israel, and Egypt. Bringing it all under Turkey slash now Ottoman Empire control. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode 5 coming out tomorrow where we continue to gain more Balkan territory under our control and try and take some more Middle Eastern territory as well. So thanks guys for watching. Like and sub if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Goodbye.